Good morning. Welcome to this time of devotions. I'm Chaplain John Holt Lauper. I'm grateful that you're here with me today. We will be singing hymns and reading from scripture, praying together as we begin our day focused on our Lord. Our first hymn for this morning from the 8th century, perhaps one of our oldest known hymns and much beloved in the church, Be Thou My Vision, translated in 1912 to the verses that we sing today. Whenever I sing Be Thou My Vision, I am always drawn to scripture, particularly Psalm 139. Our deep desire to be known and loved as it is reflected in this psalm, to be known and loved by God. If you have your Bibles nearby, please read along with me as we are in Psalm 139. I'm going to read verses 1 through 18. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from far away. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, O Lord, you know it completely. You hem me in behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me, Even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. For it was you who formed my inward parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works that I know very well. My frame was not hidden from you. When I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth, your eyes beheld my unformed substance. In your book were written all the days that were formed for me, when none of them as yet existed. How weighty to me are your thoughts, O God! How vast is the sum of them! I try to count them. They are more than the sand. I come to the end, I am still with you. You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. Verse 1, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Verse 14, these are beloved verses from this psalm. How meaningful to read these words by the psalmist and receive the comfort and assurance that we are both known and loved by God. God who is all powerful and magnificent, sovereign over all creation, is also our God who is loving and personal and tender. He loves us intimately and individually. There are times in our lives when we may wonder if anyone notices us, if we really matter. There are times when we may feel lonely in the middle of a crowd. There are moments when we may wonder if people would love us if they really knew what goes inside our heads and our hearts. I think that this is what truly makes this psalm so compelling, to be known and loved, to have someone know us completely and still love us completely. God knows us. God knows everything about us. We do not need to pretend we're perfect with God or hide our true selves from God. God knows who we are including the things that are not so perfect about us. And God loves us unconditionally. This should be very comforting news for each one of us today. You hem me in behind and before and lay your hand upon me. I have at times in my life in certain situations prayed 
that the Lord would protect me, that he would put a hedge of protection around me. To be hemmed in by the Lord is to be protected by him. It is to know that we are not left to fend for ourselves in our troubles and struggles. God's always with us. Poetically and descriptively, the psalmist explores the truth of how God is always with us. Vertically, if I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. Horizontally, if I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even darkness cannot hide us or keep us from God. I pray that you would feel the truth and love of this psalm today, to know that God is always with you and that God loves you and knows you fully and perfectly. Sing with me. Be thou my vision. Be thou my vision, O Lord of my heart. Not be all else to me, save that thou art. Thou my best Lord, by day or by night, waking sleeping thy presence my light be thou my wisdom and thou my true word I ever with thee and thou with me Lord thou my dear father thy child shall of heaven, my victory won. May I reach heaven's joys, bright heaven's sun. Heart of my own heart, whatever befall, still be my vision. next hymn, Breathe on Me, Breath of God, is a prayer to the Holy Spirit for the power, provision, and protection of the Holy Spirit that we individually as well as in our world may be renewed by the Holy Spirit today. Let us pray together before we sing this song together. Heavenly Father, We pray to you today. We ask that you would breathe on us once again, that you would fill us anew with your Holy Spirit. For we hunger for the life-transforming power that your Holy Spirit brings. And we ask, dear Lord, to be filled up by the fruit of your Spirit with love and joy, peace, patience, kindness and goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, and that we may use these gifts of the Spirit and use them in our lives as we share the gospel of Jesus Christ with everyone we meet and seek to work for the kingdom of God. Be with us throughout the coming day, Lord, that we may know and love you more deeply and remember that you love and know us fully and perfectly. We give thanks for Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us sing together. Breathe on me, breath of God. Fill me with love. I may love whatever you love and do what you would do. Breathe on me, breath of God, until my
verses for today are from the book of Zephaniah. Turn with me to chapter 3. I'll read verse 14 and verse 17. Zephaniah 3. Sing, daughter Zion, shout aloud, Israel. Be glad and rejoice with all your heart, daughter Jerusalem. The Lord your God is with you, the mighty warrior who saves he will take great delight in you. In his love, he will no longer rebuke you, but will rejoice over you with singing. We close this morning together singing, Come We That Love the Lord. We're marching to Zion, the beautiful city of God. I give thanks for Nancy Salzman, my friend who is at the piano, leading us in our hymns today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of this day. Come we that love the Lord and let our joys be known. Join in a song with sweet accord. Join in a song with sweet accord. And thus surround the throne and thus surround the throne. We're marching to Zion. Beautiful, beautiful Zion, we're marching upward to Zion, the beautiful city of God. Then let our songs abound and every tear be dry. We're marching through Emmanuel's ground, we're marching through Emmanuel's ground. to fair worlds on high. We're marching to Zion, beautiful, beautiful Zion. We're marching upward to Zion, the beautiful city of